DaVinci Resolve. You've probably heard of it by now, and you've probably heard that there's a free version and a paid version. But which version is right for you? And is the free version even any good? Well, let's find out. But before we do, this is a Razer Blade 17 with an NVIDIA RTX 3080 Ti laptop GPU. Now this was sent to me to play with by this video's sponsor, NVIDIA and box.co.uk. NVIDIA Studio is an initiative to use the RTX GPU to accelerate creative applications like DaVinci Resolve and design laptops and desktop systems that are specced to a creative professional's needs. And DaVinci Resolve uses that RTX GPU to deliver enhanced timeline performance, incredible GPU and AI-based effects, and improved rendering times. And Box.co.uk have over 1 million customers, an excellent rating on Trustpilot, and 26 years of experience selling laptops, TVs, gaming PCs, components, and now NVIDIA Studio validated laptops. So head over to Box.co.uk to browse their range of NVIDIA Studio validated laptops. Plus, you get free delivery on select products and the ability to select your own delivery window. Winner. First, probably one of the most common questions, is it really free? Yes, it really is free. There isn't a catch. It's free. It's been free for a long time, and I don't think that's going to change anytime soon. Yes, it does need a relatively decent system to run well. If you're on Windows, you absolutely need a device with a dedicated graphics card. Ideally, something powerful like that NVIDIA RTX 3080 Ti, but I actually ran DaVinci Resolve for years on a 6 gig NVIDIA GTX 1060, and honestly, it ran okay. Just adjust your expectations depending on your system. Now, you can utilize that GPU when rendering your videos as hardware accelerated encoding is now included within the free version of DaVinci Resolve. Now, if that sounds like jargon to you, basically graphics cards are really good at actually creating the video files. So being able to use the GPU to deliver the video just means faster rendering. But only one. The free version allows the use of just one GPU, whereas the paid studio version allows for multiple GPUs. Now, those graphics cards are also really good at unpacking video files, also known as hardware accelerated decoding. But unfortunately, this is still limited to the paid studio version. This basically means that certain video files, like the most common H.264 video files, you're probably getting from your regular consumer level video camera, digital SLR, that sort of thing, will run slower on the free version than on the paid version. For some, that's reason enough to upgrade. There's no limit on the free version. You can use it as often and for as long as you want to. All of the future upgrades and updates are included. Up until now, anyway, I don't think they're gonna change their mind. They could, but I don't think they will. And Resolve will alert you when there's an update so that you can go and download it and install it right away. Or you can ignore it, it's totally up to you. The old versions will continue to run. And you can use it offline. The free version doesn't call back. It's, there's no always online DRM nonsense. None of that, you can just use it whenever and wherever you want to. Are there any watermarks? There are watermarks within DaVinci Resolve, but only when you use hair. There are watermarks, but only when you use studio-only features. But you'll know straight away, as the watermark will appear on the edit page as soon as you drop anything on there, which is limited to the studio version. You won't get stung after you've exported the video with a sneaky little watermark. It's always really nice, clear, and obvious. Yes, there's a resolution limit. Both the timeline and the export quality has a maximum resolution of Ultra HD, also known as 3840 by 2160, or 4K-ish but you can import footage with a higher resolution than Ultra HD. So you can import whatever you like, you just can't work with a timeline or export video that's higher than that Ultra HD. You can create custom aspect ratio timelines. So you can create landscape, portrait, square, ultra wide, whatever you want to do within DaVinci Resolve for free, which means you can create really cool looking super wide content, or you can make content that's perfect for TikTok, Instagram, that sort of thing. Quick note on that though, you can't do that ultra HD resolution in portrait as it won't allow you to enter 3840 vertically. As well as that resolution limit, there is also a timeline and export limit of 60 frames per second. Again, you can import and use higher frame rate footage, but your export is capped at 60. Now that means if you've recorded some gameplay, 120 frames, or you've gone out and shot 120 frames on your camera, you can still import that 
you can still use that, but you'll be working on a 60 frames per second timeline. That does mean that you can slow things down. If you're working on a 24 frames per second timeline, you can still import 120 frames so that you can slow it right down and get some nice, cool slow-mo in your free version of Resolve. Now we're gonna get onto the really complicated subject of bit depth and codecs and format and all that sort of stuff. Now, because there's so many variations, it is really difficult to provide a simple answer. My honest advice, if you've got a camera which you think, I'm not sure this will work, just download DaVinci Resolve, it's free, try it, and then let me know down below. Just give it a whirl, basically. It's free, you won't lose anything. That's easier than me trying to answer all the questions of all the different formats and stuff down below. But to give you a real rough idea, the free version doesn't particularly like 10 bits or above footage. It's primarily designed for consumer level 8-bit footage. So you can't import any really fancy 10-bit 422 footage. It does, however, accept a huge array of formats and codecs. Blackmagic, as far as I can tell, doesn't really limit the actual codecs you can import into the free version versus the studio version. Now, obviously, I can't run through all of those and discuss every single one. So instead, check out the description. There's a link to a handy-dandy document by Blackmagic themselves, which details all of the formats that are accepted in DaVinci Resolve. Now on to some of the fun stuff. Transitions and titles are all basically the same in both versions. There's a fair few inbuilt ones. Some of them are great, some of them not so much. They're a little bit hit and miss, honestly. But you can create your own because Fusion, which is Blackmagic's visual effects suite, that also exists within the free version of DaVinci Resolve. And again, there is a studio version of Fusion, but the free version gives you pretty much everything you need, at least to get started, unless you're trying to do anything really, really fancy. Now that means you can create all of your own transitions, create your own titles if you really want to, but that also means that any presets that are made by people like me or the other YouTube creators like Patrick Sterling, hey. they will work on the free version of Resolve as well, unless we include a studio-only effect, which generally we try not to, so you should be good to go. Now that all leads me really nicely into effects. There are a lot of fun effects within the free version of DaVinci Resolve. Too many for me to go through, essentially. I've actually just made a video very recently about some of the effects within DaVinci Resolve, so I've linked that up here somewhere. Go check that out if you're really interested in the effects. Now, some of the key effects which you can do in the free version are things like masking, slow motion, mirroring, blanking fill, which is really great for vertical videos, slideshows, that sort of stuff. Speed ramping, although it's a bit cumbersome at times. You can play things in reverse, fast forward, all that sort of stuff. You can freeze frame, so you can pause things and have them as a still image. You can do green screening, also known as chroma keying. You can do tracking, stabilization, shake reduction, and more. There's loads that you can actually do in the free version. So what effects aren't included? Well, Resolve Studio does have some really clever effects which are limited to the studio version. Some of the key sort of filmmaker tools which are limited to the studio version are things like lens correction. So if you want to de-fisheye a lens or whatever, noise reduction, that's limited, motion blur, all that sort of stuff are limited to the studio versions of DaVinci Resolve. The noise reduction is very good, and there's a really smart AI engine built into DaVinci Resolve, which allows for some other really cool effects. So what are they? What are some of those effects? Well, we've got things like speed warp, which allows you to slow things down even if you haven't shot in high frame rate footage. Face refinement, picks up faces, allows you to do some grading on them. Object removal, will automatically pick up on objects and replace them so you can get rid of stuff out of your scene. Magic mask is literally black magic. It's really clever. You can just do a little keystroke on something. It will automatically pick it up and track it throughout the entire scene so you don't need to do any rotoscoping or manually cutting things out. Super clever. And then we've got things like smart reframe, which will pick out subjects and automatically keep them in the center. I've made videos for a lot of those. So if you're really interested in seeing some in-depth tutorials on how to use those GPU accelerated effects, I've linked some of them down below or just check out the backlog on my channel. Now, some of the other things, there's some blurs which are limited, some mist effects, lens flares, lens halation and reflection effects. And there's one called analog damage, which allows you to create sort of a vintage VHS and CCTV look like this. Plus the tools for editing and grading stereoscopic 3D. They're all limited to the studio version. Next up, color grading. DaVinci Resolve was originally known mostly for its color grading abilities and again, Blackmagic haven't skimped on this. As you think they probably would, to be honest, but they haven't. You get like 90, 95% of the color grading abilities within the free version. So yeah, it's great. Basically, it means that you can do most of the things you probably want to do. You can adjust your highlights, shadows, contrast levels, colors, saturation. You can apply LUTs, you can create LUTs, you can do all sorts of stuff. All the things that you'd expect from a color grading package, 
you can pretty much do. Multicams and audio sync. I don't really know what other category to put these in, but you can do multicams, you can sync footage up. It will automatically use the waveform to link them up if you've got multiple cameras, that's in the free version. And if you've recorded your audio separately, you can really quickly sync that up to your video footage as well. It's like one click, audio, sync, done. Works pretty reliably for me anyway in this environment. Maybe a bit fuzzy when you're out and about, but generally it's pretty good. That's there as well. Now all of the other common controls and stuff that you'd expect are also present and accounted for. That means transforms, animated zooms, crops, keyframing, that's to do basic animations for anyone that doesn't know, uh, picture in picture, colored backgrounds, all that sort of stuff, it's all there and it's good to go. The same can be said for audio controls. There's a system called Fairlight, that's built in as well. This contains loads of handy dandy audio effects like noise reduction, not like background noise reduction, not noise, video noise, different, it's a different noise. Noise reduction, compression, pitch adjustments. You get the gist. You could add loads of audio tracks and balance them all accordingly for some nice juicy audio design. Now, as I say, it's most of the stuff within Fairlight. Some of the really high-end things like Dolby Atmos mastering and really fancy stuff is limited to the studio version. But again, for day-to-day, -day, for most people, you're good with the free version. What about exporting? You can export in a bunch of different formats and you can control the quality by adjusting things like the bitrate. You have plenty of control in the free version. You can export your projects pretty much however you want. There's built-in templates for popular platforms like YouTube and Twitter, and you can create your own export presets so that you don't have to create them every single time. You can even stack multiple projects into a render queue so that you hit render, it'll go through 20 projects, however many you've set, rendering them out one by one so you can go put the kettle on, come back, and they're all ready to go. Recently, they also made the collaboration features free in the free version of DaVinci Resolve, which is crazy, which means for about five pound a month to be able to use the cloud software, which is really, really cheap, you can work remotely across multiple devices. I'm gonna make a video on that next because it's amazingly useful for the five quid it costs. And you could even work with other editors, other colorists from anywhere in the world on the same project, just using the free version of DaVinci Resolve. It's ridiculous. Now, one last thing people do ask quite a lot is, why is it free? There's lots of information out there. I've linked a few articles down below, some conversations with the CEO of Blackmagic, a guy called Grant Petty. He's always very forward and very honest about it. But the simple fact is they want you to get stuck into DaVinci Resolve. They want you to start learning it, progress with it, become a better video editor or a video creator so that you can eventually start making money from your work. You can build a career in video. And at that point, you're probably going to come back and buy Studio. Are you going to buy one of their Blackmagic cameras or one of their keyboards or one of their panels or whatever it may be? It's a really cool business model, really rare to see. And I'm really, really thankful because I wouldn't be here if there wasn't a free version of DaVinci Resolve because that's how I started as well. Big thanks once again to this video sponsor of NVIDIA and Box.co.uk. Make sure to check out NVIDIA Studio. And if you've already got an NVIDIA GPU, make sure that you're using the NVIDIA Studio drivers. They actually make drivers that are specific for creative applications like DaVinci Resolve and they can make things run way smoother. So there's a game ready version and there's a studio ready version. I always run the studio version, so make sure to check it out. So there you go. I think I covered everything. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'll catch you next time.